is an apple which has been uh, evidently uh, damaged and that's actually a codling moth that's done that. Uh, we've had an issue with codling moths this year. What we normally do is uh, um, to put up codling moth pheromone traps. I've put something up about plum pheromone traps elsewhere. Uh, these are sticky traps which you hang in the tree. They're a the triangular thing. Inside is a bit of sticky um, floor uh, which when the insect touches it, it will get stuck to it and it will not escape. And there's a little capsule of scent which comes with the package and you, you hang the thing in the tree at a rock at a correct time of year and then you... Um, uh, no, that's just a codling moth excrement that's come out. Um, and then you check them and when you start to see one or two codling moths you think well we'll just wait and then when you see you know, seven or eight, ten or twelve codling moths you think right a bit major codling moth activity they've been out there laying their eggs so you allow sort of maybe five to seven days for them to hatch their eggs eggs to hatch and then you spray hard with insecticide and that should stop your codling moth um, anyway the sort of damage that codling moth does um, Obviously this apple is, uh, has no possibility of uh, uh, maturing, well, <laughs> since I picked it off the tree, it was evidently not, but it wouldn't have been a chance anyway. And I think that may be the actual, yes, here we are. Uh, can you see that? That's the actual maggot, the codling moth maggot, which is still just uh, squirming slightly uh, in the last seconds of its life. Um, these um, well, obviously completely destroy apples. Uh, at the moment, uh, this year we have not sprayed, normally we would spray insecticide against codling moth around about um, late June, early July. This year we did not see enough in the traps to really justify it. There uh, were very, very few. So we thought, well, maybe you know, we've reduced our population a lot over the last few years, but evidently we hadn't reduced the population enough. So they go into the, the centre of the um, apple and eat the protein rich pips as well as the carbohydrate rich uh, rest of it. Anyway, but this year we've got a major problem with um, red spider mite on the orchard. Uh, there's no very good chemical control for red spider mite. In fact, the more pesticide you use, uh, often the worse the problem is because pe uh, most red spider mites are resistant to pesticide and if you use a lot of pesticide you will knock off the beneficial predators uh, such as the ladybird which do take red spider mite so uh, a bit of bind there and this is the sort of thing that the people who say all oh, pesticides are a terrible thing uh, will uh, you know use in their argument and it's a good argument it's a sound fact based argument yeah uh, having said that uh, if we hadn't used the, we've only used insecticide once this year. If we hadn't used it at all, uh, the crop would have been completely wiped out by a, a really nasty problem uh, we have uh, uh, called um, uh, ground ch chafer beetles. There's an interesting green spider weaving a web there. Um, these leaves, as you can see, look a little bit sickly, and they've got uh, they've had a red spider mite on. But where we've laid off the pesticide, we've seen a huge increase in the population of ladybirds, which I've shown in a few films somewhere. If you're looking for one, you can't see one. Uh, but we've seen a great increase in ladybirds. We've laid off the um, pesticide, and um, yeah, the birds are starting to bite. The birds are always bird damage is always very severe on the Lord Lambourne. Um, maybe because we're so close to the uh, woodland edge of the orchard. But anyway, so um, codling moth, uh, that's um, an example of the codling moth. So what I'm doing is um, we decided not to spray against codling moth because we thought if we did we would hit the ladybirds and that would do more harm than good. Uh, so the ladybirds do seem to be doing a good job uh, knocking off aphids and red spider mites and uh, we want to leave them to get on with that job, wish them all the best. Uh, leave them alone, don't harm them, and so we're going to have to tolerate some degree of codling moth damage. So what we're going to need to do, is what I've been doing yesterday and today, is as I walk around the orchard, carefully looking out, and any um, any um, apple I see with a bit of that frass, that sort of codling moth muck, coming out of it, pick it off, cut it open, make sure to kill the codling moth inside it. At least that's one that isn't going to hatch out and pupate uh, to lay eggs next year. Um, and um, 
uh, take great care, take more care than usual when we come to pick and pack our apples for the market. Uh, because regardless of whatever uh, Joni Mitchell might sing, come on farmers, put away the DDT now. Give me spots on my apples, give me the birds and the bees, yeah! We've got lots of birds and bees in this orchard, lots of biodiversity, lots of lovely things. Uh, but if we didn't use some chemicals we wouldn't have any apples to sell and so this orchard would be, um, our piece of land would either be like the piece of land over there where people um, are carrying on uh, a, a, a junk and broken up old car braking business which is almost certainly illegal or over there where there's a very rich man who has got loads and loads of horses and um, we'd rather grow apples here uh, we're the only people who are growing food, I, I think, apart from a field of wheat a few miles away in this parish. Uh, we're certainly the only people growing uh, apples for at least 10 miles from here. And um, if we didn't use a bit of um, pesticide, we couldn't manage it at all. It's just a question of getting the balance right. Of course, we would love it um, if all of that... Um, um, you know, beautiful mythology were true that you know, leave, you know, work with Mother Nature uh, and all of that. You know, a natural balance will emerge, and people really don't mind a few maggots in their apples. Well, um, regrettably, none of that is true. Um, anyhow, so that's a little look at the codling moth. Um, it is worth having a look at your apples. Uh, grease bands, by the way, are no use against codling moths because they fly. Grease bands, if you apply them carefully, uh, will limit the problem with the winter moth. That's the caterpillar that eats the leaves and the blossom at the beginning of the season. The apple, uh, the thing that burrows into, um, uh, the thing that burrows into apples uh, in midsummer, and uh, produces maggots inside your apples. That is the codling moth. And we do have a biodiverse orchard. Very biodiverse. Um.